Hi folks, this is Simeon here. Today I'm going to do something that I just learned recently or I received the idea recently and it's not that I've never thought of that. I've seen kind of those results by accident when we've done it before but to really hear that person speak about what they did and how it improved it and then knowing that that's exactly the kind of situation I'm in and the kind of land I have, that's what causes me to do this right now. So what I'm trying to do today is improve a part of the land that I'm farming by adding extra nutrients to a spot of land. Now I rotate my cows daily, I move them daily onto fresh ground and that way I have seen just the fertility and the production of our land skyrocket. A few years ago we started with two cows, now we have 15 head on the same amount of land and we are feeding hay first in December. However, today I'm going to feed this bale of hay to the cows because they're on a part of my land where it's not growing a lot. There's a lot of moss, very little grass and it ne needs some extra carbon, it needs extra organic matter. and if I rotate them there, I need to give them this big space so they find enough feed and then obviously the manure load is less. More manure means more fertility. So I'm going to feed them hay by spreading it out over their pasture. So partially they will eat the hay and the manure they will add to it. Partially they will trample some of this organic matter down into the ground and improve the pasture that way. Now slowly down the field. Let me stop here real quick for a second. So again, this hay bale is not the first hay I'll feed for the winter, but instead this is a simple attempt to make our pasture more fertile here. Here you can see the spot of land where the cows were the last 24 hours. And that's eaten down. And now up here is where they will be for the next 24 hours. I just moved them a little while ago. And then I will rotate them up on this field up there behind the hazelnut bushes. It's about, oh, let's say 80 more meters that way. And then they will be coming down this way. And you see, I have lots of grass here. Lush green grass. Let me zoom in for you guys. It's a beautiful pasture, but it's just up there where it's very poor and you'll see that in a second. So instead of just having to fence in that entire area for them, I'm going to still give them small areas and I'm going to be spreading out this hay bale over these areas. And basically what I will do, I will add, so I have 15 head of cattle and they're not all full grown. So I have about 10, the equivalent of 10 cows here, I would say. So 
if they are on a spot for 24 hours, that's 10 cow days on that area. So by feeding them this extra hay, I will pretty much add nutrients to that spot of land for the equivalent of, let's say they pick up 50% of the pasture, I will add five cow days worth of nutrients extra to that spot of land. And so I hope that the next year this land will have less moss, more grass, more vegetation in general. I'll show you now how this ground looks, but let me drive there first. So you guys just saw the lush green grass down there. You still see it there through the hazelnut bushes back there. Very nice pasture. Now look at this here. Very poor pasture. Lots of moss. Very little vegetation. This not too long ago was pretty much a forest. We had all of this with thick underbrush there's still lots of roots in here and it just is very mossy. The pH value, I haven't tested it, but my suggestion would be, my, my, my thought would be that it is a pretty low pH, so quite acidic. And at some spots you can see where they dropped some cow manure not too long ago in their first and second rotation here this year. It's doing quite well, but for the most part, I mean, look at this, uh, very little grass, a lot of moss, and the cattle can right away taste the difference. There's le less nutrients in the grass, and, and so they go on here, and after a very short time, they start yelling. They want different food, more minerals, and I can see when they're on this kind of ground, they're not as satisfied, they complain more. It's harder work for them. They have to run more, walk more, find their feet. They can't stand on one spot and just grace this fresh green grass. And so um, it's not ideal. The money lays in the forage, that's what you want. So I want to spread out this hay bale over this area. Also where the cattle are now, just give them lots of extra food that they can eat. And you see, they're already looking at it. Now they haven't had hay since uh, April, so. <laughs> Again, this is just fertility. It's not the winter feeding yet. I, I imagine that I'll first feed end of November, beginning of December this year. Now the fact that the cows love this hay and the pasture alone for the most part, that just shows you what poor pasture it is on this particular area. What I've done now, I've spread this out. They will eat some, they will trample down some, and I believe that this will increase the fertility of the land a lot. Now, I was inspired once again to do this by uh, Greg Judy. Justin Rhodes just visited that guy. He has a YouTube channel of his own, which I've started watching some of his videos, and I really like 
the stuff that he's sharing and he has actually made invented a, a bale roller that he pulls behind a car or ATV and he pulls that and spreads out those bales he has increased the fertility of some of his land where, where he shared where it was just moss and by doing rotational grazing and spreading out the bales that's how he got so much fertility um, and a really nice growth there so look at this um, he's like if you film that these cows will now add a lot of extra manure to this area that has never been there before and again I don't have to spread the fertilizer they will do this even so according to Greg Judy you have between 40 and 50 dollars or did he say 30 and 40 dollars of fertility in each of these bales so that's how much one of these costs around here so basically if you buy that that's worth just the fertilizer and all the growth on the cow or milk that you get or meat or what have you that would just be an extra so it is super important that you use these wisely and I still believe personally that catching the manure in the deep bedding producing compost spreading it on your pastures is the best way to go in this particular place I think this might be a very good idea with the cows uh, I just spread it there and they will add this extra fertility so next year we'll see how this turns out thanks for watching guys I'll see you soon and thanks for to Isaac for having filmed. Bye-bye, guys.